Hello everyone, welcome back to our playthrough of the Digimon Pendulum X version 3.0. We've got Metal Tyrannomon, they've taken a dump, I, I guess we should clean it. Ah, yeah, that's good TV. Metal Piranamon's a bit of a weirdo. Read this. Within certain parts of the Net Rivers, a swarm of dangerous virus species Ultimate Digimon were discovered. Though it is said that the number of Digimon who have become Ultimates is extremely small, there are schools of Metal Piranamon which will get their teeth into any Digimon who passes into their territory, killing it immediately. That's not the weird part, though. It goes on to say some more stuff about how it's super strong bite, it's very heavy head, it's why it anchors itself to the ground. But then down here it says also if the red button on its Calvaria, I don't know why they use the word Calvaria here, that just means the top of the skull. If that button is pressed, then the metal part of their head will simply come off and then be replaced with a new head. That's, <laughs> I mean, you know, if a clam can just secrete a shell, then I guess this guy can just secrete a new head. I'm just saying it probably takes a lot of iron. Get this boy a steak and some spinach. Kind of economic though, for it to only make the head metal, cause then you really, like you save so much on materials and I'm sure that weight thing at the bottom wasn't cheap. So yeah, a full metal fish body, <laughs> this economy. Metal Piranamon here is a final stage Digimon. They're not going to evolve any further beyond this, but look at this, six years, 59 grams. Their name is indeed Metal Piranamon. They're a virus type. They're so happy because they're so full. Isn't that just like real life though? Cause from what I hear, piranhas don't actually like go nuts and attack things other than stuff that's in their normal selected diet unless they're desperate. So yeah, I always like to imagine that piranhas the rest of the time when they're not starving, they're like this, you know? Just doing okay. Training could use a little bit. Their training shakes are 19 or 20 and let's see if we can get this. I mean, it's not hard. I love it when their their super shakes are like right next to each other because sometimes the number is weird. It's like 20 and 23, that doesn't help me. But 19 and 20 actually gives me a little bit of a range here. Mm hmm. Eh, it's fine. We got a five. Oh, look at them shoot. Oh, okay. Sorry, I just realized that's probably like the skulls of the things that they've eaten. Ugh. So the road to Metal Piranamon was actually not as difficult as I thought it was going to be. Metal Phantomon, here I've actually got footage of this. Metal Phantomon actually managed to defeat the final boss, which was Omega Mon X of all things. So very impressive. Sorry, I just want to show more of this footage. I, I guess it kind of speaks for itself. I don't have to talk. But uh, it's kind of weird when I don't, isn't it? How you doing? How's your day? Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, oh, I assume that I assume that means we've defeated them, right? By this point. Ah, oh, just such a treat to see Metal Phantomon destroy Omega Mon X or otherwise. And then they looped, but they didn't get a D poison until randomly just across the board they just picked one off without a battle. And so then I fed them the D poison. It pretty much just destroyed everything about them. They were suddenly empty on hunger and training, and they were just they were just desolate. It was a desperate situation it was. But we took care of them and we got them back to, to, to ship shape. I also had this thing where I accidentally, like, okay, look, watch this. When you go into food, there's this risk, right? You press this, especially if you play a lot of other virtual pets, your your instinct is just to, just to start mashing this to give them food. But no, this saves the last space you were on. So the other day I accidentally fed them an Evo minus five. I don't even know what that does, but it did lay them low. Again, just like with the D poison, knocked out all their stats, and I was like, oh crap, is that the thing that de evolves them? But then they didn't, and everything worked out fine. I mean, obviously, it's not really a spoiler to say that we got Metal Piranamon, so yeah, obviously things worked out. So at the point that we are now, we have a lot of items. We don't have in triplicate all of the items, so I might still work on that before we, you know, move on to the next the next run. But look, we have three of the meats, three of the proteins, three of the strength maxes, we've got the aqua orbs, the metal ups, the sky wings. We only got one zombie meat, but that's that's fine, probably only need one. And then it's some forest leaves, and then another D poison and super energies. We also got this master tag. So I'm not going to use any of these items unless I actually see that it's, a, it's an evolution requirement. Um, as far as the quest goes right now, Metal Piranamon is currently at stage 77. Here, let's go ahead and have them knock someone out. Because, come on, it's a Metal Piranha. You gotta see them devour something. Three on the board gives us... Ah, the boss of the area. Large Hanna-Barbera villain. Hey, not bad. Perfect shakes and a decent roll. Anything that's four or above is good in my book. All right, Metal Piranamon, shoot the, yes, okay. It's like when your cat brings you a dead bird, like you definitely don't want to see a dead bird and you definitely don't want to think about the fact that like a bird died because birds, birds are great, right? Except for when they're stealing french fries, but that's, you know, seagulls and it's, it's not the typical bird that your cat brings home. Anyway, the point is that's kind of how I feel right now. They're just, they're just showing off all of the kills. I'm going to have to have a word with them on that one. Uh, okay, that's fine. I'm just getting desensitized to it at this point. Anyway, big guy that looks like Moltar from Space Ghost. Um, I guess they're shooting waves. Oh no, Piranamon. Come on, sorry, Metal Piranamon. Have you seen Piranamon? The, the, a regular Piranamon? Ugh, kind of intense. Oh, hey. 
There you go, well done buddy. I expected no less. You are a top tier Digimon, at least in my book. So the last thing to do in this run before we move on to the next generation is to get their battles up to 100 so that way they will leave a traded egg. As you can see, we have 61, so I only have 39 more to go. And they also just turned into Metal Piranamon, so I think we have time before they start trying to die. So yeah, I'll just be doing that over the next couple days, which means when I come back, we will be ready to start the new egg. I imagine we'll also have amassed more items by then, so should be all good. Let's go see what everyone's doing in the Discord channel. Benjamin CF got Holy German via Jogressing with their ACOM, and that is a nifty looking little device. I, I have an ACOM too, but it doesn't look like that. Huh. Well, anyway, I do like the shape, though. I almost wonder if you could put the contacts that are supposed to touch the pet, like, you know, the, the stuff right here, you put it right here, and then you could just kind of, like, snap that on, be a little more stable. Anyway, good job on hitting Holy German. Henballs Jr.'s got Platinum Numamon on their DMX, and I just love a Numamon with wings, don't you? And a poop to match! Let's get this one a pair of wings. <laughs> Cosmic uses hashtag worst care gang to describe that they have a Numamon and a Vegemon that keep trying to get each other's attention at the wrong time. I, I can see it. Numamon's like, hey, buddy. And then Vegemon's like, hey! And then Numamon's like, yeah, never mind. I never quite liked the way they do that. I wish, I wish they would time them out right to where they meet in the center and they're all like, high five! But I guess Numamon and Vegemon wouldn't do that, would they? Epic peak of the Train God Killer says, I think he angry at me, and I, I think so too. He does look a little angry. I can't remember, does Agumon always look like this, or is it just if they're low on something? Because that looks dark. That's the kind of face that Agumon makes when he's like actually decided to murder someone. Like, if you weren't serious about it, he it would just be a mad face. Agumon right here is at the I'm going to commit the deed part of the process. So, yeah, uh, Epic Pika, please be careful. Alrighty, so this will be the last time you see Metal Piranamon. So, I guess everyone say goodbye, or hello and goodbye, and wish them well. Metal Piranamon certainly wishes you well. Have a look at him. Yeah, see there? If you see a metal Pranamon do that in front of you, there's an old legend in the digital world that says that you will be blessed with good luck for like three days. So, you know, it's not a long time, but I guess make the most of it. That's all for today. Everyone, thanks for hanging out. Thanks, patrons, for supporting my channel, especially Shifter and Dogtrainer89, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one.